Thank you for attending Sage 300 ERP General Ledger and Year End Procedures. Today we'll be discussing how to successfully complete a General Ledger Year End. At the end of a year, you must close the income and expense accounts for the old year and open them for the next physical year. To maintain clear and complete accounting records, here are procedures that I will demonstrate today. Topics of discussion, year-end procedures, create a new year, locking and unlocking periods, post or current transactions in general ledger, backup data, print balance sheet and financial reports, trial balance, create a new year, transaction history, printing and clearing posting journals and batch status reports, reset batch numbers, printing reports, posting to previous year, First procedure is to create a new calendar. You will log into the company database that you're doing the year end in, select common services, physical calendar. As you can see my current year is 2011 and my future year is 2012. After the year end that will be my current year. Simply just type in 2012, your future year select the tab key and select add and that has successfully created your future year for 2012. The second procedure to a year round will be to lock and unlock periods. Select Common Services, Physical Calendar, select my current year 2011 and I would like to lock all periods from 1 to 11, simply click on Unlock All. This will lock all 12 periods. Since my year end isn't complete, I am going to unlock period 12 and select Save. For my future year, 2012, which will be my current year after a year end, I also have locked down all 12 periods, but since I will have some transactions flowing through and posting in my period one, I will unlock all modules, period one, or all locked for posting. Period two to 12 are all locked. and select save. 